So episode 3 of Star Wars The Acolyte has basically just split the fandom into two. And this is where die-hard, law-loving Star Wars fans... Um, this, will, this, show, this will make you hate the show so bad. Um, so before I go into the negatives, let's say what I kind of liked about this episode. Uh, my only favourite bit of this episode was Master Soul and the Jedi showing up. And the murder mystery on how the witches died because you you're questioning was it the jedi or was it that sith or was it something else because the fire obviously didn't kill them okay now on to the bad stuff on this episode the thing i felt that was bad was the writing it was very lackluster i will go over this in into more in diff in another video but Let's keep this short. The next thing is the witches knowing the force. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. It would have been better if it was Sith magic, like Mother Talzin, or like a light magic, similar to the Mountain Clan on Dathomir that we saw in Tales of the Empire. Another thing that I was like, huh, is somehow May has like Palpatine plot armor and survives that fall. Like the writing was a bit over the place, and the whole killing her sister thing, like what it just came out of nowhere she's like got that pissed off with her sister that she just wanted to end her but overall the flashback shouldn't have been a whole episode it should have been just broken up throughout each episode of this series i don't know why they just made this whole they dragged the whole episode for this backstory when it could have easily been shortened to 10 minutes and just teased bits and pieces throughout each episode. And because this whole show is basically a murder mystery. Of why May is killing Jedi. Why four Jedi are ashamed of what happened. Who is the Sith. It's just. I don't think it's structured that good. But compared to episode 1-2. Because I kind of liked episode 1-2. And I thought this series was overhated. But now I understand the hate. That's coming towards it in terms of writing. It's just It just lacked a lot. And I, it kind of disappointed me, and it kind of disappointed. I bet it disappointed a lot of fans that was trying to keep this show alive and trying to protect it from all the hate. But now I, I guess I understand what's happening in terms of story wise, and I just I, d I don't want to hate on Disney because they're trying to do something different and trying to go away from the Skywalker saga, but they just can't let go of it, like. Anakin's whole thing was being the only force produced child and it took two incredible Sith Lords Darth Plagueis and Palpatine to make Anakin well quote quote make because it's not fully c confirmed well through comics it, it kind of is through canon it's hinted but to make Anakin who's a forced child and then Disney want to make something different away from the Skywalker saga but also try makes two of the main characters in this show force made force made characters it just doesn't make sense and it's just the story is just it's Disney's trying to be it's different but it's just copying of what's already been done and honestly it's the same with the Obi-Wan series if they stuck to comics Law and then trying to make their own thing, it would keep so many Star Wars fans happy. But because they wanted to try and something different, try and include stuff, and try and make their own stuff up, it breaks storyline, it breaks the law, it breaks characters like arcs and stuff. It just doesn't fit in. So if they stick to comics, stick to stories, stick to the actual law, and if they want to make something, they should talk about it with like Dave Filoni, George Lucas uh, or try and include it, build it up and just don't make it out of thin, thin air and build these stuff up but by making it out of thin air it's just, it just breaks Star Wars <laughs> it's funny but I'm trying to defend this show because I don't really like to hate on shows because it kind of ruins any future projects but this show is really hard to protect and I, my my expectations for the next episodes are not high at all my ex expectation for the show wasn't really high when I begin with 
That's why I kind of liked the first two episodes. It was different, something different. They tried something different, but uh, I don't know what to, what to expect now.